Okay, so this is my game by default with all the settings undone. And you can see already what a massive difference that is. So BSG just blocked the use of certain third party programs that allow you to use LUTs on your game that will recolor your game and essentially make the lighting way better. And that sucks because now it's against TOS and you can get banned for it. So today I'm going to show you some post effect filters that you can apply in game that will try and recreate the look of some of these and improve the lighting dramatically and allow you to see in some of the darkest corners and especially on maps like Interchange. Okay, so this is my game by default with all the settings undone. And now we're going to tune it so that we can actually see what we're doing. First of all, the most important step is to open up the NVIDIA control panel. Now you can play around with this to suit your preferences, but the example I was using earlier, I'm going to whack the gamma up to max and I'm going to move the contrast to about 80. And if we look back in game, we can actually start to see something now, uh, but it's still a little bit washed out. Now I could keep increasing the contrast and that would actually help as you can see in the background. But what I'm going to do instead is use one of the filters. All right, so post effects off and post effects on off on and you can see already what a massive difference that is just going to run around a bit and show you a few more of the areas here that are typically really dark this corridor is usually one of them and i can see absolutely perfectly through here running through the middle now and going into the side of mantis showed this one off a little bit earlier again it's completely clear in here i can see everything i don't even need to turn the flashlight on Coming down towards Rasmussen. We've got Texo on the right here and Furniture. I should have bought a scope for this one because I'd love to aim down and have a look. I think everybody here has probably had a dodgy fight at the back of Furniture and you can never see the guy because he's hiding behind the shelves. If somebody was ratting behind the boxes at the back here, I'd probably be able to see him from quite far away. And just for good measure, we'll run through Ollie as well. Very good, very nice. Back of Ollie here is particularly dark, but again, no problem seeing all right, so real quick before we look at some of the other filters and jump to another map, let's cover some of the graphic settings. So these are the best settings you can use. Ignore borderless, put that in full screen. These are the best settings you can use if you want to see absolutely everything. This will typically also give you really high FPS. You want to make sure your shadow quality is always on low as well, because that will really help to brighten up some of the darkest areas as well. So if you didn't see from the settings earlier, this filter is called Chill Wave. I'm going to leave the settings that I used for Interchange up on screen now. I'm going to tweak them a little bit for the rest of the maps. Interchange is a, is a map that I think you should always tweak individually from the rest of the maps because it is much, much darker and it is really washed out as well. So now we're going to go over a couple of filters that I think dramatically improve the lighting within the game they all pretty much do the same thing by making your game look better and clearer but they give off their own little unique vibe so whether it be a different color or style to the filter you might just find that one of them looks better for you and your eye personally and so that's why i'm going to show them off so you can decide for yourself which one you like all right first i'm going to show you chill wave that i used on interchange this is with all settings disabled and this is with them on and now in dorms with the settings off and on Okay, so this next filter is called Montreal. This is with the settings off and now with the settings on. And again in dorms with the settings off and settings on. I wish the weather wasn't so rubbish right now because it isn't really a great test, but this next filter is called Clifton. Settings off and settings on. Just as we go over to do the dorms test, I will show all these filters side by side on a different map at the end on woods or something. And in dorms now, settings off and settings on. Okay, so this last one's called Amelia, and it's got quite different settings to the other ones. So let's take a look. So this is off, and this is on. So if you have a look at the NVIDIA settings, you'll see that they're quite extreme compared to the other one. It looks really good inside. Let's let's do the on-off test. Okay, so off and on. That is a big, big difference. All right, so although I've shown you a couple of filters here that are good, that doesn't mean to say that's the only ones that you can get these sort of effects with. I do encourage you to try out all the filters in the post effects section and mess around with the NVIDIA control panel settings as well, because you can really create some interesting looks to the game. And it's definitely going to help out with your visibility too. All right, so now let me just quickly show you these filters again, but side by side on different map and hopefully sunny this time. Okay, so this is Amelia and Clifton and Montreal. And finally, Chill Wave. Also, I'd just like to mention that these filters might not look the same for you as they do for me. 
This is mainly because everybody has different monitors, but if you want to get a good sense of what might work well for you, then play around with the sliders, turn it up, and you should start seeing the change and just pick something that you like the look of. So for me with Chill Wave, it's probably somewhere around here, but it might be something completely different for you. Unfortunately, with this type of thing, there is no one set and fits all. So you kind of have to play around with it and find something that works well with your setup. But by me showing you this, you should be able to figure out what works well for you. Okay, and the final filter I'm going to show you is for nighttime factory raids specifically. And before I show you this, I just want to go through the graphic settings as they are very different to any other map. First of all, I would highly recommend anti-aliasing be on FXAA as it works best on nighttime factory. And SSR, you either want to put this on high or low, depending on what sort of PC you have and sharpness on the max on three as well you'll see why in a second but uh, as long as you have those three settings the rest shouldn't really matter too much other than shadows you always want to keep this on low like i said before but yeah let's show the uh, side by side now so this is off and this is on obviously this is a black and white filter so you're not going to get any color here but this is the best way to outline all of the things all of the objects on the map so that you can better point out uh, where a pmc is and you will notice it is very sharp. It is very grainy. That is deliberate. That will also help out. Helps to identify where people are in some of the real darkest corners of the map. So I think this area in particular is quite bad. Because there's no actual lights. Flashlight on and flashlight off. Uh, there is actually a place I want to show you. So this back area is the other place I wanted to show you. The, uh, the quest with a scab and note is down here for reference. Um, but I just want to show you because look at this that the flashlight is on if we turn it off We can actually kind of see it a little bit clearer with it off here um, So it just goes to show the power of these post FX settings um, I'm just going to disable them now and re-enable them just so you can see the difference So again, this is off and this is on Okay, and now for a question that I get asked a lot. What are my settings and why have they changed and Lou? Why are you not using? Um, settings that would give you the best visibility and to answer that I've essentially just customized the game to make it look more appealing for my eye and and how I want it to look really um, so let me just toggle it on off for you it's a little bit gloomy out here at the moment but let's do this anyway so this is without any settings and this is with I'll also run you quickly through the graphic settings um, so textures high shadow quality medium LOD 2.5 overall visibility 1500 you want to have these two um, uh, a little bit turned up if you can because it will affect the render distance of PMCs at range. Uh, Anti-aliasing TAA and then pretty much everything off apart from HBAO um, and grass shadows. The rest you can copy. Sharpness I play really low sharpness as well just because I think it looks better on the stream. Um, but if you're wondering about HBAO let me show you. So uh, just take note of like all the shadows on the gun and also uh, how the trees look as well. So if we just take a look through the forest here. Uh, let me just turn HBAO off. There we go. Okay so you should be able to notice pretty big difference and back on again so it just makes things look a little bit nicer overall um but yeah that's my sentence you know it is completely personal preference you know i could i could make this game look a lot worse if i wanted to and give myself better visibility but i kind of like the way it looks uh for videos um and i think it looks quite nice finally there is one last thing that you can do and that is to mess around with the colorblind mode um, Tritonopia was the one that I used to run a while back, but it just turns the greens and a couple of the other colors and it just shades them differently. So look how green that is now. And uh, you'll also notice the sky will look a little bit purple as well on sunny days. It doesn't right now, but I mean, if this is a look that you like, if you really don't like the way the grass looks, you know, there is an option to uh, reshade it if you want. But yeah, that's it, guys. If you've got any filters that you'd like to share, please let us know in the comments down below and any other settings that you think might help as well. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.